Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jamie. This is my first YouTube video. Like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought of this look and other videos you would like to see. If you'd like to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, so here I'm going to be priming my face with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. When I'm applying a matte foundation, I like to use a hydrating or luminous primer just so my face won't look so flat. Here I'm going to be using the Equal Tools Perfecting Blending Sponge. It actually comes with two, but I gave one to my friend. Today I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup Foundation. I'm in the shade Tawny for those of you who are wondering. I just dot it all over my face and I blend. This was my first time using this sponge with foundation and I actually really liked it. I purchased mine at Ulta and they're only $9.99. For concealer today, I'm going to be using my favorite concealer of all time. It is the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium. I like to highlight and conceal at the same time. So that's why I get a concealer that's probably a shade lighter than my actual skin tone. Here we're just going to blend that bad boy out. I'm going to be setting my under eye area with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I like to apply it with a dry beauty blender. Here I'm just setting my T-zone area because it's the place that I get the most oily throughout the day. I'm just going to be wiping off the excess powder. I don't really like to bake unless I'm going to a special event or something like that. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in shades Medium Deep. To apply it, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Contour Brush that I purchased at Walgreens. They're so cheap and they're so soft. Yes, contour them cheekbones. You know, we gotta do that retarded looking fish face so we can see where the hollow part of our cheekbones are at. Here, I'm just bronzing up the rest of the face just so it won't look so flat. We can give it some dimension. my mouth is moving I promise I'm not crazy and talking to myself I'm jamming out to some Pandora here I'm just trying to contour that double chin you know create you a new jawline but come on let's be honest it don't work pick up my beauty blender again is just in case I got a little heavy handed with the bronzer. For blush I'm going to be using MAC Pinch Me. It's very pigmented so you have to be very light handed with this. And I'm just going to be using a blend Sonia Kaushik brush. It came in like a little kit for like $20. with a Morphe M501 brush. It's a very fluffy brush and it applies your highlight so pretty. Can you guys tell I get into putting on my highlight? I'm just like, uh huh, yes, glowing to the gods. Here I'm just applying highlight to my cupid's bow, makes your lips look a little bit fuller and down the bridge of the nose. 
For brows today, I'm going to be using the Milani Stay Put Brow Color in the shade Burnett. What I really like about this product is that it's so affordable and it comes with a brush. Like, come on guys, with a spoolie on the end, you don't have to buy two different brushes. I like to brush up my brows with a spoolie, kind of create a shape with it, and then fill it in. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see a brow tutorial. This is probably why my video is so long because I'm over here dancing and jamming out to Pandora. take a break and post a video of us on snapchat doing our makeup and recording a video here I'm just gonna be cleaning up my brows kind of just like a little small angled brush I got it in a little brush set from BH cosmetics check their website out because they have very cheap affordable stuff for this step any concealer will do I'm gonna be using the MAC soft ochre paint pot I love this stuff and I've had it for about a year already and it hasn't ran out yet and then again I'm gonna be using one of those Sonia Kaushik brushes that came in the set which I got from Target I'm gonna be applying it all over the lid this just creates a smooth canvas for when you put your eyeshadow down and it makes it so much easier to blend out Eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using the much loved Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna be picking up the color Tempera, I think that's how you say it, with this Wet n Wild large eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna be applying it all over the lid for my base. And I'm gonna use the brush that it comes with. You know how some eyeshadow palettes come with brushes that suck? Well, Anastasia palettes come with brushes that are really good. They're so fluffy and so easy to work with. I'm just gonna blend this color all in my crease. I'm gonna use another wet n wild brush. This is the blending brush. I'm gonna pick up the color burnt orange and put it on top of that color that I already put in my crease.
why I stopped doing my eyeshadow and picked up my highlighting brush again and started highlighting some more. I must have thought I needed a little bit more glow. Now I'm going to pick up one of Kylie's brushes and tap it into red ochre just a little tiny bit. I'm just trying to make this a little bit more reddish, orangish. Snapchat from my friend Felicia. We're just going to continue blending until our hands fall off. Now again with the other side of the Anastasia brush, I'm going to pick up the shade Primavera, put it all over my lid. I kind of created a little halo with the red and the orange, so I'm just going to put that Primavera color in the center of the eye. As you can tell, I was about to forget to tell you guys what mascara I'm using. I'm going to use the Better Than Sex mascara. I just got it a little sample in my Ipsy bag. I actually have the full size of this mascara, but I don't know if it's only me or have you guys noticed that little mascaras have probably just like a little bit more pigmentation. I don't know if it's just me. Let me know in the comments down below because I might be going crazy. Your girl got thirsty again. Time for the lips. I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star in the color Gemini. Some of us weren't blessed with big luscious lips, well my bottom lip is kind of big so I have to overline my top lip just a little bit so it doesn't look very uneven. to show you guys but I'm using Max Fix Plus to spray all over my face. This just lets the makeup stay on longer. Hope you guys enjoyed this look and I'll see y'all next time. Fall apart, fall apart.
It's all you can put you can. <laughs> this is my first. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jamie. I keep forgetting what to say after my name is 